are South Texas at uh, Austin's place hunting on dads. It's our first morning. We are cooking a little breakfast. We got our new Bagara 308s ready to go before the trip. We are literally right on the border. And uh, it's, I mean, I'm excited. I can't wait to do something new we haven't done. We've done a lot of stuff, but this is a brand new experience for us. So should be a good time. The plan is we're gonna get in this Hummer, cover a lot of ground, glass these big canyons to find one of these cliff dwellers. Hey, Brian. Hey, Bill. We ain't in Florida anymore. No, we're not, buddy. Good Lord, look at that. Look at that valley down there. Our guy at Austin told us we should glass where there shouldn't be animals, and that's where they're gonna be. Look on these cliffs for a big brown body. That's the plan. I'm jacked up, man. I like the fact that we're doing something brand new. I love Texas. Species we have not hunted. Long range shooting. Cool country. Um, I mean, this is gonna be a fun hunt. We're gonna have to work for it. These things are constantly on the move. And the tough thing is, being from Florida, even the ewes have horns. Right out of the gate on the first morning, we see a really good ram on this ridge. There's probably 20 of them now. Oh, There's I a see group that's up to the right. Yeah, I see him now. But he's parallel on the cliff. And he's a big ram. That lead ram's pretty solid. He's 30 inches. Let's move, we gotta get closer. It's not gonna be easy to get in a position to get a good solid shot. Good God, there's a pile of them there. Damn, man, that big one on the top. That one, look at that one. That's a huge group. We're gonna have a really hard time getting in front of them. Those rams are studs. Even the bodies are huge. I can't wait to see one of these on the ground. The plan is to get around the canyon so we can get in front of them because there's a couple really big rams in this group. Gotta get around them. They're going up over that hill. Just slip around on this backside and see if we can't cut them off. It's almost impossible to slip up close on these animals because of the rocks, the sticker bushes, the cactus, to get as close as you want. shot Caleb there's just too much brush right in front of me I finally get in position and get within 200 yards but there's just too much brush to get a good shot that one in the middle is a big man his chaps dragging the ground they have no idea we're here I just need one opening And there they go, you gotta move again. I think they're gonna be right over this rise. And there they are. If I'm gonna get a shot on this big ram, I gotta shoot them walking because they're just not stopping. You want them? I gotta shoot him soon, he's going up that hill. Shoot again, shoot again, shoot again, shoot again. It's a good one too. We've been chasing them, coming around this ridge. Billy was up on top and he could see them and they spooked. We slipped around this ridge, 
you stayed high, came low, and they saw us, but we had enough time to make it happen, baby. It's a good, good odd uh, dad. What an experience. These animals are even cooler and more majestic than what I thought. Their bodies are way bigger than I thought they'd be. These horns are incredible. I am extremely blessed right now.